Welcome to How to Become Sting. First thing you want to know is you need a set of brushes that are small, easy to work with. You need white and black um, powder. And we'll get to why in just a second. I just need a mirror because in order for me to do this right, I have to have a mirror up close because I wear glasses. And so what you want to do now is you want to also make sure you, all of your hair is back because there's a design to the stinger's makeup that has to be followed for that stinger appearance. And you want to go down very gently, use kind of soft strokes to get the white mixed in. You don't want to rush it because that's the thing I'm always having problems with is rushing the process. But just cover your face in the white foundation not foundation, white acrylic paint and if you go to Walmart if you want to go for a cheap big bottle if you go to Walmart you can find them at your local Walmart for about 98 cents a bottle and I'll show you the size here in just a second it's about 98 cents for a bottle about that size but like I said just make sure also don't want a lot of white on the brush when you're trying to do your face and there's a reason behind that too much white and not enough time won't be a good thing for you so I'm gonna tell you something if you want to prevent what just happened to me and what is still happening right now you also want to make sure don't get it on the yellow or the handle and it's okay because when I get done I'll show you what I look like I'm gonna do this I want you to pay close attention because I'm gonna help you throughout your journey what for becoming sting and here's what I wanted you to do. If you follow me and use simple light brush strokes, eventually you'll have a solid color of white running across, running all over your face. And that's exactly what you're going to want. And here's another thing, another tip. The bottom part has no guideline of the eye so you want to cover that piece kind of like that but the top part of your eye is where your guidelines are going to be for your uh, stinger stripes so you only want the top part visible in the eye you want to get a full white coat Got that I'm going to finish this up. Sorry. Now, yes, I know I'm a mess, see? But now we're going to show you how to get those perfect stinger eyes. What you want to do is, like I told you, you want to use your guidelines that were given to you by the makeup. Then you want to drag your brush across the bottom of your eye to make almost an exact square like pattern and here's the thing you don't want the pattern to be normal and you want it almost if you go by me you don't want it to look too too copied down so what I like to do is I like to 
Ooh, that was close. Uh, like to add my own little flair on the Sting's makeup. And you'll know what I mean by that here in a few. Remember what I told you also. If you mess up, that's okay. It never hurts to make a few mistakes because you can always correct them later. Because once you remove the white, you have to start all over again. There's your first stinger line. And notice, it's going from the eye up. So you want the, that piece to look just like that. And you want to create the upper lines just by coming down. Just try not to make a huge mistake. Because if you do, you end up having to start over. See? I manage. You want to also drag the brush up and down to create that other stinger line. And you can touch it up later. But this, like I said, is just a basic tutorial. If my makeup's not accurate, that's okay. Just because I'm not accurate doesn't mean that you don't have to be. Because you do want it to look more stinger like than normal. Here's where that lower pattern comes in. It's going to help you with a center bottom line. Like I said, this is WCW Sting. And another thing you ought to know is I have not steady hands. There's your first side done. Now, here's the fun part. For the lines down the mouth, here's what I do. Out and down. And if you want, go ahead and color your mouth. Now, here's where the hard part comes in. All you need to do is take this side and copy it to this side, and then you'd have your sting. Right. This is what you should look like when you get done with sting. WCW era. Note, everything is totally accurate. And that's how you do it. Now, if you want to do the wolf pack, it's the same design. But instead of white, you'll use red.
Jason Morris is Sting from the Wolf Pack. If you've seen my tutorial, it is the same makeup design, but instead of it being a white basing, it's red. The colors of the Wolf Pack. For all you Wolf Pack fans out there, this howl is for you. Let the wolf pack ride again.